Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing the Commonwealth. That's right, here in the Open Universalis 4. We integrated Lithuania last episode, 1555, I think. We were able to reach Tech 10, which let us hit the button. Now, the problem I fear is we are falling behind in Tech, and that really is going to be a major problem. Our goal is to get Tech 32 and everything, but to do that, we are going to have to keep pace with the Westerns. And you're talking, you know, look at this, 13, 12, 13. France is just cutting edge tech. We need to be right there with them. We can't lag behind. We got to be there 13, 12, 13. We got to do the same thing. So to that end, we're going to need our economy to grow fast. It's got to keep growing fast. We need the money so that we can pay for level three advisors. We have one level three advisor, but I need more. Uh, as soon as we have the cash, we'll go for a level 2. We might go with a level 3, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, don't want to do, I don't want to do buildings because why? Well, buildings cost points, and points equal technology. And to me, technology is more important than buildings. Buildings cost 10 tech points each. And as much as I love them, as much as I love buildings, the tech points are too valuable. Just too valuable. So we're going to focus on tech. Uh, how are we on military? We are fine. We're just about right on our navy and a little under on the army, which is just fine. We don't need to have, you know, a billion troops. Let's see. Any good missions? No. Let's see, gain mercantilism, more tax and production. That would be nice, more money, but it would cost points. I'll think about it. Let's see. Ah, stability more expensive, but tolerance of heretics goes up. Tax goes down, stability goes down. Missionary strength goes up, tolerance of heretics goes down. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want stability to cost more because that means we waste more points. This I do like, though. Better missionaries. Let's do it. Anything for better missionaries, even if it means extra revolt risk. I mean, we have a lot of Orthodox provinces, and there's still a couple Reformed and Protestant holdouts, but for the most part, it's just all Orthodoxy that we have to get rid of. In fact, uh, after we're done with this and Muscovy, there will be no more Orthodoxy on the map. There just won't be any. Uh-oh. Kazan is invading Perm. Oh, poor Perm. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as it's not Muscovy over there, then there's no colonization going on, and that's just fine. We are currently annexing two vassals, Serbia and Ryazan. Uh, after that, we're going to work on Pomerania and uh, getting Bulgaria as a vassal. And, oh, look, another long steam cloud save. Three minutes into this video. My goodness. All right. Oh no, 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 it, it didn't, it didn't, it worked. Oh, good, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Fast forward. These will finish in six years, both of them, okay. At least we're getting pretty good at killing rebels, that's nice. And Britain's trying to get... Look at that. They're getting greedy. You can't have them, Britain. Hmm. Ooh, Austria now sees us as a competing great power. But they do trust us utterly, which is helpful. France trusts us implicitly. Good. Ooh, France has declared war on Milan. Uh-oh. That means Austria and France are at war. Oh, shit. I have to choose sides. It's going to be a bad war for me either way. I would love to stay out of this war. Please do not call me into this war. Um, Austria is the war leader, and France is the war leader. So I am definitely going to... This is. The, I'm surprised it lasted 111... 112 years before any war between Austria and France, but here it is, the first war between Austria and France, and we have to choose sides. 
Um, I don't want to choose. I don't want to do this war. France has a bigger military and a lot more manpower. But um, I still don't want to do this war. Austria has called me in. I hope France can forgive me. Man, that sucks. Lose prestige or legitimacy. We'll lose the prestige, because whatever. Damn it. Now we're at war with France. That sucks. That really sucks. And they've rivaled us. This is the same thing that happened earlier in the game. They rivaled us when we were at war, just some random war. And um, after the war was over, they took us off the rival list. I hope the same thing will happen this time, but who can tell? We're far enough away from them that um, they should be keen to like us. We do need to go rival uh, one of their rivals, like Castile. So let's throw Castile in there. And that should make them like us a little bit better. We'll see. Let's see. Austria also has Castile. So we'll get enemy of enemy just by having Castile. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebels, whatever. That's what armies are for. Take out the rebels, damn it. Uh-oh. Long steam save? Looks like it. Nope. Alright. Just slow. Any good missions out there? Nope. Hmm. I am interested in this option here. It does cost some points, but it'll give us, until the end of the game, more income. Just straight up more income. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. That will really improve our economy. I guess 50 points isn't that much to spend to drastically improve our economy. Okay, so let's start getting relations up with Pomerania so that we can annex them. And keep an eye on this disputed succession just in case Austria slips in. I also need to make sure that this checkbox is turned off, because I am not going to let Austria give my crap away. Mm. Our embassy has finished. Look at this, we have a new, uh, a new diplomat. Viktoras Sulkowski is our new diplomat. Uh, let's send him to... Skov, maybe? Sure, go to Peskov. We'll just go in there and just annex him, vassalize him, whatever. I never did Silesia, and he got peacefully vassalized by Brandenburg for some damn reason. That's stupid. Hmm. Damn it, this sucks. War against France. I didn't want that. Nobody ever wants that. They're supposed to be our buddy. Right? Hmm. Rebels and Archangels. That's ah, fine. Looks like a pretty even war, actually. France has more troops on their own nation, but uh, Austria and its allies, like Corsica, Baden, Brandenburg, Saxony, Lauenburg, Mecklenburg, Ferrara, Tuscany, and Liege, all of those allies probably stack up pretty evenly, which is kind of amusing. Ottomans broke their alliance with Algeria. Ha! Take that, Algeria. I think you're so fancy. We have all of our cores in Russia coming in. That's nice. We could go get some claims on Muscovy. That might be a good idea. But at the end of the day... Whoa! Kazan completely annexed Perm. <laughs> Perm is no more. Goodbye, Perm. 
<laughs> That's very amusing. Yeah, it looks like France is being handled over here. That's hilarious. I didn't expect Austria to be able to beat France like that. We're not we're not doing anything. This is just Austria beating France right now. Austria and his allies. Or her allies. Whatever. We can bulb something. Ooh. Um probably don't want to do that. I think I'd rather go for technologies. Yeah, France is getting handled. 18%. 19%. More conversions! Oh my god, there's so many provinces that need to be converted. It's ridiculous. Look at all these... Oh my god, the scroll bar is just massive. Okay, some cores are coming in up in Russia. 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 Couple more to go. Hey, we got a new cardinal. And we got a freebie. <gasps> we have two cardinals. And we have three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take that mission to become the papal controller. It's gone. No, the mission to become the papal controller is gone, but but now we have our best chance ever. We have two guys in there now and three potentials. And I think I'm going to steal this guy too because we have tons of points now. Look how many points we have now. Love it. Love it. So I don't really want to hurt France because they're my long-term ally. I see France as a, a long-term ally and Austria as a medium-term ally. Basically, I'm going to turn on Austria the moment that their dynasty is available. I'm going to be like, yoink! Thanks for your throne. But until then, we're going to help them out. Njord Sigurdsson. Gain stability or gain prestige? Well, we don't need the prestige, so give me that stability, baby. Yeah. Oh, and it's tech up time. Cool. All right, so we're catching up. Tech nine. All right. Still got a long way to go, but we're, we're getting there. Another core. Very good. Two more cores to go. One more core to go. <laughs> That's gorgeous. You notice there's a big pink blob in Europe? That's us. All right, more conversions. Go! Cornwall has collapsed. Who cares? There are no, it doesn't matter what they do. There are a little one province minor in England that's going to get re-annexed. Hey, we got some army tradition. Go us. Uh, we could get rid of our second dude. Actually, yeah, get rid of our second dude. We can only handle one, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of our second dude. Bye. That was just slightly retarding our diplo points. I mean, our military points, but it won't anymore. Not anymore. You're not the boss of me. Yes. Oh yeah, now now we're getting there. Papal controller. Oh, beautiful. Oh yeah, I like it. And we got a freebie, didn't we? Oh my god, we got another freebie. How many freebies are they gonna give us? I love it. 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 We are the papal controller. So, who do you not like, Pope man? Who can we excommunicate today? Hmm. 
Tuscany seems to be a person to excommunicate. Uh, anyone else? So far, no. Really? Just Tuscany? Yeah, the only one in the entire world that we can excommunicate is Tuscany. Wow. Brittany is close, but Tuscany is the only one. And he's Catholic, too. Wow. <laughs> Alright, where's my free diplomat? You're supposed to give me a free diplomat. Come on. I totally am the Curia Controller. Give me my diplomat. There he is, Zygmunt. Alright, Zygmunt. You are going to start off by excommunicating Tuscany. Because lol. Take that, jerk. And then what can we do? We can call for a crusade. Um, against Bulgaria. And go vassalize them. That actually sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Not that we need it. We already have CBs on them. Uh, wow, where are they? There it is. I saw it. Yeah, Holy War on Bulgaria. So we can just do it that way, but... Eh. Um, yeah, just call it... Well... You know what? Just hold... Wait, we have a truce, don't we? No, we don't. <gasps> no, one of our freebies died. Damn it. Oh, well, he's cheap. One of our stupid freebies died, like, super young. I'm just going to go in X and release them. That way it'll be our religion. I should have done that from the start. I don't know why I didn't. I'm kind of dumb, I guess. I guess I'm dumb. Ah, oh, we can build military stuff. Yeah. Okay. Good. Two diplomats free. Well, let's go to the Pope. Make the Pope happy. What else can we do? We could... I don't know. Ah, we should vassalize saxe Lauenburg. Yes. Because he owns Lubeck, which is wonderfully rich. I would love that. Here I come to ruin your day. My name is Eastern Tech. I'm on my way. I don't even need a leader. I'm just crushing him with no leader. Wow. That's a little bit embarrassing. It's okay, though. No one saw anything. No harm, no foul. They'll finish in... Oh! Three years. Cool. Yes, you can have access. I have deemed it necessary. Acceptable. Wow, we have four out of the five potentials. Love it. And is Austria in the list? Nope. Damn it. I really want Austria to be in that list. Ooh, we're making a good penny right now. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll go for a level three. We can afford it, right? Yep. Missionary strength. Oh, no, no, no. We need this guy. Level 2. Missionary strength. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. Level 2. He is going to make us able to convert a couple places that are normally very hard, like down here. Yeah. Still can't do these four. But we can do Kiev. It'll just take 12 years. Still worth doing, though. I hope we can get France back as an ally after this war. We don't need this war. This is a stupid war.
I heard rebels. Where are they? Oh, they're in Schleswig. Who cares? All right, our final core is in place. Well, except for this one. I think I am just gonna have to bite the bullet here. Ugh. Ow. 140 points down the drain. Local pretender rises. Okay. Four rebels. Who cares? Lots of rebels spawning in Lithuania. Hmm. Probably because when all these lands were in Lithuania, they were all accepted cultures. Lithuanian, Belarusian, and Ruthenian. Those are the three uh, cultures in Lithuania at the start of the game. And since they're all pretty large, they make up more than 20% of the nation's economy. So they're all accepted. So the revolt risk is pretty low. But now... We only have two cultures accepted, so the revolt risk everywhere is very large. Dangerous times. So even with two level 3 advisors, we're still bringing in 12... Oh, no, no, that's right, we only went to level 2. But this is a very special level 2. I like him a lot. He is going to convert a lot of our lands for us. How goes the conversions anyway? Pretty good. We still have a long way to go. And France is losing this war horribly. Oh man. I feel bad for you, France. Come on, Austria. I just need your heir to die. That's all. Just, you know, push your heir down some stairs. Little Ferdinand, just push him over the, push him out the window or something. I don't care, just make him dead. Is that really too much to ask? We've been waiting for a long time for Austria's heir to die, and it just hasn't happened. I'm going to go ahead and do Kiev, because that one's going to be tough to do at some point in the future. So if we can get that done now, it's, it's, I'm willing to wait a few years to um, let it go, yeah. It's getting at um, 0 0.6 a year, yeah. That's with full stability, yeah. And a religious ad advisor, yeah. <laughs> We got a new cardinal. Go us. Nice. Now we have four out of the seven. And this guy we can't even afford. Well, we'll save up some points. We're definitely getting more points than anyone else now, which is nice. Come on, siege up all the things. You're taking too long with this war. I don't like any of these missions. They're terrible. Yeah, religious unity. That's going to take a long ass time. Jeez. Alright, one province down. More conversions. Very good. Who's next? Temez. Alright. 